Here's everything that we need to know for the week beginning April 12, 2021. Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning April 12, 2021. A very special happy birthday to my dad. I love you, dad. I will be home soon to see you and celebrate your birthday with you. So let's get into it here, guys. This is another stage of our awakening. I know, I feel like I'm repeating myself and I am, hi. <laughs> oh, and I wore my special butterfly sweatshirt for our transformation, okay. Uh, so it's gonna be more of that going on, but this has a little bit of a different feel for a lot of, at least for those of you who are watching right now, that's the energy I'm gonna pick up on. That's what I will reflect back to you. So a lot of you are cleaning up the mess and you are cleaning up, yeah, surface level messes, whether that is situational or you're like, there are just things uh, in my life that have hung over my head and I'm taking care of it. Um, but this is also spiritually as well. So this might be closing out some karma. Uh, it might be laying some soul contracts and your, you know, your agreements with people to rest. For some of you, you are releasing vows. You are releasing, I'm talking like soul contract vows and saying, I release you now. It's okay, we can go on, <laughs> right? So please make sure that you check out my video on if you feel lost and what to do about that, what to realize about that. Uh, that might help some of you who are feeling like you're kind of swimming in this vastness and you don't know where to land. Like, you know, I would say, I feel like a butterfly in a windstorm sometimes. And that might be kind of some of the times that we're in. All right, now we are going to be, I'm, I am feeling like there is a great potential for natural disasters here. I do record these ahead of time to make sure that you always have content. That way if something comes up last second, <laughs> you know, I try to avoid that at all costs. So we'll see what happens in the coming weeks, but be aware of that. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like, you know, obviously at least where I live and stuff, April can bring um, thunderstorms and rain and you know, we get flooding here because it's usually dry, but just watch your region. Um, it could have to do with water um, and waves. That's always a thing that could come from an earthquake, creating a tsunami. Uh, so earth changes, let's just say that a lot of earth changes happening around that time. Okay. Uh, let's see. I feel like there's something else hanging there. thought forms, people pulling on your thought forms, uh, you know, like, Hey, but what about me? So you may have cleared somebody out of your space and they're picking up on that energetically and going, what are you doing? Where are you going? You're supposed to just be there for me. <laughs> and you're like, Nope, I already did my spiritual growth. You can catch up on your own. I'm going to go off and live my life. And I'm going to partner up with somebody who's ready for me kind of thing, or I'm going to take that chance and go start that business or I'm going to go do whatever it is that I've wanted to do for so long. Okay. Or I don't know, travel might pick up too. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But I feel like people are just going, I know who I am now, or I'm getting to know myself. And part of that is having to go experience something new in order to see how you respond to it. Does that make sense? So you're exploring who you, who the new you is. <laughs> I think, I think that's how I can put it. All right, let's get to the cards. Let's see here. Let's see what we have. Yeah, it's all about those fresh starts, the new beginning, um, the peace, the calm, the grace, you know, getting unentangled. Is that a word? Um, <laughs> unentangled. Uh, engaging in things that really bring you a lot of joy. Yeah, here we have clear quartz get crystal clear. So you've come to your conclusions for a lot of you, you have figured it out, or you are getting there, you're getting to that place of, um, I'm going to go with the flow. Yes, I'm going to get crystal clear, but I'm going to get crystal clear about not putting pressure on myself. <laughs> if this makes any sense to have an exact plan that I'm going to start doing more co creating with the universe instead of trying to control everything. Right. So I would say too, this is about purification, purifying your energy and allowing some new energies to come on in. Um, hmm. So we're cleaning up the influences 
and that feels like a very grand kind of concept where it's uh we're cleaning up the influences of negative thought patterns and whatever we get fed yeah we're healing malachi it's time to transform we're healing this we're you know, we get so numb to the messaging we get so numb to the pain that we just carry it around like yeah this is just this is just the pack that I have on and yeah, it weighs me down, but it's just always been there. I don't know what to do about it, <laughs> right? Now you're learning, you're getting crystal clear on how to clear this up and how to allow the healing to occur. Okay, so that's very promising. Love that. Oh, oh. Lots of stickiness in the cards. They don't want to shackle. So some of you are sort of throwing a spiritual fit. I've done the work. I deserve more. It's my turn, my turn, my turn. And you're not wrong. <laughs> Just be careful what kind of energy you're putting out there. Because we have sunstone. Take pleasure in the things that you do. There's a lot of prosperity and abundance that could be coming through for you. But if you're so hung up on one thing and saying, you know, I, I have to figure this out or I can't move on, you know, all of that. Or if you're getting really hung up on how you think things should look, how it should go, you know, all that stuff, the plan, right? You're hanging on to the plan. The plan is safe, right? You're not going to really enjoy the free flow, the spontaneity. You're not going to enjoy the synchronicities. You might even miss some of the synchronicities that are coming through. So open yourself up to this abundance and prosperity and clarity on how you want to proceed in your life there's freedom here there's joy uh, coming to life you know all those things allow it to happen <laughs> okay just allow it to happen i'll be doing the same thing i'll be right there with you guys you know that's always the case all right so what do we have here we have amazonite loosen your grip so it's again all about the peace the flow the beauty the grace allow allow yourself to live in bliss i now bliss i don't know that might be kind of a lofty goal um, since a lot of us are on our soul contract supposed to be living the human existence and, and knowing what it is to be human and all that. And so going through your human experiences. But what is your bounce back time when something occurs, when something comes in, when something's not going your way? <laughs> what happens? What is the response that you have? Uh, what have you discovered about yourself? How can you start implementing that a little bit more? Okay, so let's get some Michael cards. Archangel Michael. Mm -hmm. I feel humor, like a lot of humor. We have to start, you know, putting that more into our day to day. And if you come across somebody who just, they have no humor whatsoever, you don't, you don't have to be dragged down by them. So we have innocence, dear God and angels. Thank you for helping me see that all of your qual qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others help me embrace my god-given innocence so that i may be at peace this is getting in touch with that inner child it's getting in touch with that authentic self that original self before everything else started to happen before all the stories started to compound one upon the other this is before the entrapment this is before we started getting super influenced, okay? So we're cleaning up a lot of that and we're finding the simplicity in life again. So this is getting out into nature. I think we had that card a couple weeks ago or last week or something like that, getting out into nature and just allowing yourself to get back in tune with you. This is gonna help out in such a big way. I know when I'm getting all lost and scattered and upset about things, when I sit and I meditate and I allow myself to go out for a hike, which I will do as soon as, uh, I'm done here. <laughs> I'm going to be going out for a hike. We can decompress. We can allow those troubles to flow away and just connect back into our innocence. You'll handle it. It doesn't mean the problem itself doesn't go away. It means its effect on you is not as strong. And now what? Eventually it works out if you're patient enough. And once it does, you go, oh, I can't believe I even worried about that. All right, pay attention to your dreams. Thank you for tucking me into bed tonight and helping me enjoy a wonderfully restful night's sleep. 
Archangel Michael, I invite you into my dreams as my teacher, guide, and healer. Please allow me to understand this situation on a spiritual level and give me guidance. So there's a little bit more to your dreams than you think. And there's going to be a lot of messaging coming through for many of you. And I, and I hear from so many people who are like, I, I don't get that. Like I wake up and I don't remember my dreams. Well, <laughs> you know exactly how you feel when you wake up. So make note of that. There's going to be some messages about what still needs to be healed, what needs to be released, but also just, you know, fostering this understanding so that you're not, yeah, because they're, they're making me feel like a lot of humans, they're saying a lot of humans get hung up on stories because of the mystery of it, because of the hidden aspect of it. And so if some understanding is coming through, you can have some resolution. You can come to some place of peace around it. very very sticky it's just kind of sticky like uh i know i want to move forward but uh, <laughs> kind of thing. so be aware of that be aware of that this could be a lot of push pull too like you're like okay i want to trust the situation but i can't because of your past traumas here's this card again i'm sticking right out black find the richness from the dark of night the number is 28 you're a lot of us are still trying to find conclusions um still again addressing traumas pain um, old situations, all that stuff we've been talking about for forever, okay? It's going to be all right. There's a light back here. There's a light back here, and pretty soon that sun is going to light up everything. But that's your own internal light. That is your innocence. So if you have been in this conditioned place, this is how you make it. This is who you have to be. This is what is expected of you. And you've been functioning from that space. Maybe your ego has been so sort of pumped up to help you get through situations that now you're missing love connections. Now you're missing doing a line of work that you could really love and enjoy. And it brings you, uh, you know, your childlike spirit back out. Maybe you're missing opportunities. You can, you can go on with examples all day because you're, you're filtering your whole existence through this personified narrative, this narrative story thing going on, this narrative going on, where you're supposed to step into like a caricature. <laughs> it's not just a character, but a caricature. Uh, and you're, you've been functioning from that place. Where can you get back to more authenticity? Who are you really? And if there is someone out there who needs to see who you really are, then let them see it. Bring your innocence to the table. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.